In this video, I am going to show you how to do a crochet chain provisional cast on. You're going to want to work your initial crochet chain with a smooth scrap yarn that is a similar weight to the yarn of your working project. So the first thing that you need to do to work this provisional cast on is to make a crochet chain. So I'm starting to make the crochet chain by making a slip knot in my yarn and then you can go about making the crochet chain two ways. You can use a crochet hook and go into the loop and wrap it around and pull it through. Wrap around, pull it through, wrap around, pull it through, continue on like that. Or you can make a crochet chain just with your fingers. I actually call this finger knitting and it was the first technique I taught my daughter how to do where you're reaching through the loop and pulling through and picking up the yarn. You see you can get the same size stitch whether you're using the crochet hook or just your fingers. I have a little game that I play with kids when I teach them this. I say this is the lake and they're reaching through the lake and grabbing a fish and pulling it through. So either way you want to work it, you just don't want to pull too tight when you're making the stitches because you're going to want to be able to get into the back of those easily. The other thing you want to make sure you do when you make your crochet chain is that you're not twisting your loop. See like that, the loop is twisted. You want to leave it so it stays untwisted from stitch, stitch to stitch. Now the next thing that you're also going to want to do is put on probably like five or ten more crochet chain stitches than your pattern calls for for your provisional cast on. Okay? Once you have all of your crochet chains done, then you're going to cut your yarn and just pull the tail through that last loop to tie it off. The next thing that you want to do is tie your knot or two in the end of that tail. What that's going to do is tell you which end to unzip from. Have you ever tried to open up a bag of dog food that is sewn on the top and one end is it's quite easy to rip it out and the other end it's quite difficult? It would be the same with a provisional cast on chain. So if you tie this knot, you'll be good to go for knowing which end to rip out from. So now, if you look at your chain, you'll see it's flat on one side, and if you flip it over, you'll have that bump right there, and there I've got my knots right on the end right there. Do you see there's a bump here, and a bump here, and a bump here? This is the back side of your chain, and what you're going to do is go in a stitch or two, and then take your needle and go underneath that bump right there. So just Stick your needle in right there and then grab your working yarn, put it over your needle just like you're knitting a stitch and pull it through onto the needle. You now have one provisional cast on stitch. So again, I'm going in under the bump, wrapping my yarn around and pulling it through. And now I've got two stitches and you can just pull that down if it's getting a little light, um, a little loose. So we're going in, wrapping it around, pulling it through, going into that bump right there, wrapping it around, pulling it through, going into that bump, wrapping it around, pulling it through, going into that bump, wrapping it around, pulling it through, into the bump, wrapping it over, pulling it through. I'm putting on 17 stitches right now. What you're doing at this time is just putting on as many stitches as your pattern calls for you to provisionally cast on. There you go. There is your crochet chain provisional cast on.